Welcome to the Market Moon Lord, where we merge your majors with your stars. I'm your host, Jason Alexander, the Blue Moon of Neptune, here to help you navigate through the illusions of life. And today we're going to go over AMC's moon phase analysis, along with some other things, okay? But one thing I want to say is today I'm going to show you all what I did last week. Uh, for the Moon Lords that have been here for a long time, already know that I'll play different plays, but I cover AMC, but I'm in other plays. Um, and I love plays around new moons and full moons, right? You guys already know. Obviously, I'm doing technicals and all that good stuff. But when I see the setups around the new moons, full moons, I get really excited. And ever since this eclipse here, I've been excited. I've been posting videos again, right after two years, right? So on this move that I was looking for at AMC, we did not get it. Obviously, they manipulated the stock. We were supposed to get it. Uh, we saw a lot of different meme stocks move like Tesla. Well, Tesla, I mean, but you know what I mean? Those those type of big moving um, retail stocks, right? Um, and I was in Tesla, I was in Bitcoin, or I was in crypto, and I was in GameStop because all of them looked like they were going to run right um, for the for the uh, new moon pop after that eclipse bottom, right? Um, so I'll show you guys my portfolio. Uh, I made like eight thousand dollars off that play. If AMC would have done what I was looking for, it would have been crazy, right? Because uh, the majority of my um, uh, uh, trades were for AMC last week, right? But I still made good money last week. Um, so it's and it's really simple: play near the money calls on amc uh and just real quick um because we had this setup and almost everything was looking like the same exact thing if i take um this new moon and four days after if i take these two things right here these two dates that we're looking for and i go to um gme i put that in there okay gamestop had pretty much the same exact thing we had the uh the eclipse right here Okay. Uh, we dropped looking for a bottom. Uh, it pretty much stayed right there on that moon, that eclipse phase bottom. Right. Um, and then leading into a new moon, we started popping. We got a clear, we got clear volume. I started getting exciting because excited because AMC was pretty much doing the same stuff. And yeah, um, we basically took off. Uh, I, you know, I was loading up on, on these calls, right. On this day, the fourth day I loaded up right here. Um, it was and this right here this line has been there for years <laughs> um so that's perfect because that's one of the lines i had for the moon phases on gamestop if i go over to tesla tesla practically did the same exact thing okay uh the eclipse here all right we're looking for a bottom because it usually bottoms during an eclipse clearly it got a big bounce i started paying attention um and uh, it started doing exactly what amc was doing okay and then after I started getting excited after that new moon dips that we we're getting, um, and I started, I got into Tesla um, over here, actually, on this day, the day before the fourth day. Okay. Um, and yeah, I've made a bag. If you guys were on my Twitter, you saw uh, some screenshots there. Oh, let me show you um, some of my crypto. Okay, so uh, I made some money off crypto as well. Okay. Um, okay, so yeah, nice back. And and the cool thing is I think we're still going to continue. Okay. Well, I take that back. I think we may dip um, and then pop again on this up and coming full moon. I think that's the play. And that being said, I also think um, AMC is still going to make that move. Okay. I think it's um, going to happen potentially on this next full moon, which is going to be the Friday, this 15th right here. Okay. Now, um, do you guys want me to cover, start covering other plays while we track AMC? Obviously. If so, let me know. Let me know what plays you guys are looking into. Obviously, I'm only looking for um, moon phase candidates, okay, to cover on the YouTube channel. There's everyone else is doing regular technicals. We don't need to do that here um, unless you guys want me to. But this will be the full moon on the 15th, right? And so typically, um, the trend has been um, we get the pop. If we get attenuation on the pop on the new moon, right, a few days after the full moon, um, or excuse me, the few days after the new moon after that pop, uh, we'll start dropping. And it looks like it's already doing that, right? And so I do think we're going to start um, kind of consolidating and potentially pop up here, okay? Now, um, 
as far as like GameStop, GameStop may continue running um, into that into the full moon. Okay, because the the reason I say that is because we are um, we just passed this major moon phase existence or resistance, um, and um, the volume is still coming in very strongly. And I don't think GameStop has made the moonshot yet. Okay, I think GameStop may still make the moonshot. Um, so it may just continue going this up and coming week. I have calls up here, um, and uh, I have near the money calls, but I, I'm also playing this line right here. Okay. Uh, so potential continuation and then a big drop, um, maybe on like Wednesday, a couple of days before that full moon, only to get another pop after that. OK, um, same thing with Tesla. Tesla may still keep going, um, although Tesla pretty much looked like it squeezed, squeezed. Right. Um, but I still think it still may go. And one indicator that I'm really, really feeling. Let me pull it up. Okay, so um, I've been tracking Tesla, uh, and obviously everyone and their mother has been as well. Uh, but one thing I want to show you um, is one of my favorite indicators. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is the VWAP. Um, and right before the full or the uh four, fourth day on that pop that we're looking for why is it moving hold on okay so the new moon is here okay we got a pop um so i was looking to continue here okay um so if i go back to that day right um we got a nice little pop three percent right so that's when i was like okay it looks like we're going to get the four day pop. And so what I did was I brought a very um, cheap option that day out, out the money, way out the money. I brought like uh, 380 calls that day. Um, and then the following day, I started buying near the money because I got more confident because Tesla is very expensive. There we go. So this is what I want you guys to look at. OK, this is a VWAP. What? Um, what you see here is the um the VBOT right here turning up right um and look how close it was to um that yellow line okay now typically when it gets to that yellow line um we either keep riding it right so it kind of happened here we keep riding it right and of course it can just act as kind of resistance right now, if I go to the weekly, right? So obviously we had um, the increase of volume, MACD started popping up, the RSI um, was looking like it was lifting off. Obviously the setup's pretty good, but when I got really excited is when I looked at the same exact thing on the weekly. Whoa, this right here, you see how that um, is passing that yellow line in the VWAP? That's extremely bullish for the weekly. Like that's like a lot of strength, right? Um, so, there was no doubt in my mind that I had to uh, get on, get in, get in on that. Right now, I want to show you GameStop. GameStop is just now getting to that point that Tesla was at last week. Before I was like, okay, yeah, something big's about to happen. Okay, um, it's passing that yellow line. Okay, and we we want it to, you know, we want to see like twenty seven next week. If we if we see like twenty seven next week, we're probably going to see. 30. Okay. Uh, typically you can see it go around these areas. Okay. Now this is just what I'm trying to show you. What I'm trying to get you to understand is I think GameStop is about to explode. That being said, I think AMC is going to do follow, right? Uh, clearly we look at the same situation. AMC, it looks bad. Clearly it looks bad. Right. Um, so there's no indication that AMC is about to make a move. Um, however, um, there's a huge indication that we're towards the bottom just off the VWAPs, right? Um, so let me let me know if you guys want me to cover uh, more of the crypto uh, for you all to see kind of um, kind of how that works, right? But crypto did the same exact thing, guys. Okay, um, this was the day before the new moon. 
day of the new moon, 9%. This is um, Bitcoin, and it's been running since, obviously. Okay, so next week looks good for continuations on Bitcoin, crypto, um, Tesla. Uh, however, I do expect some type of dip before the new full moon, which will probably be like, if we don't dip immediately on, on Monday, we keep running on Monday, Tuesday, potentially, but by Wednesday or in the day Tuesday, I expect a dip before we get a full moon pop on that Friday. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys want me to cover other things. Let me know if you guys want me to start showing you more about my technicals. I know this this um, this particular video was all over the place, but I just want to, the main thing I want to show you all is that AMC, um still may get that pop at it, but all the other ones we're getting. Um, clearly they manipulated it, but I still believe that we're going to get the pop. At the very least, I very much doubt we're going to see under uh, $4, okay? Or uh, anything near $4 again, I'm going to be buying uh, those dips, obviously, okay? Uh, all right, guys, so until next time, I'm Jake Alexander, the Blue Moon of Neptune, here to help you navigate through the illusions of life. You're watching the Mark and Moon Lord, where we merge the matrix with the stars. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me, guys, what you, what you, what you want to cover next. Until next time, peace.